U. The Ram Rebel 1500 is not the brand as response to the U. Nor is it a competitor for the scandalously lifted, mega-tired, hardcore rigs that can be caught prowling sand dunes or posing on the U. show floor. No, despite its defiant name, the Rebel is a wholly cooperative vehicle, essentially a U. outfitted with off-road duds. The Rebel packs the same towing and cargo hauling capabilities and comfortable cabin as a regular 1500, but it offers from the factory the kinds of upgrades that a buyer with a niche for casual off-roading might piece together from the aftermarket. You, before we get into the mechanical upgrades, let us address the exterior. As we noted when the U at the U, the large grill which has neither a bit of chrome nor even a hint of a crosshair is a pretty big departure. Instead, brand identity is handled by the massive RAM lettering on the blacked-out grill and on the tailgate. It's certainly one T appeal to wallflowers. But then the name Rebel should have tipped you off from the get-go. Right, below the grill is a powder-coated steel brush guard skid plate. Additional skid plates protect the oil pan and the transfer case. Above it is a twin snorkel aluminum hood. Wheel well flares borrowed from the power wagon frame unique 17-inch aluminum rims shod with 33-inch tall 285 70th Scoyo Open Country AT tires. U to back up the ornamental bravado. Ram gave the Rebel some real hardware. 2. Fitting specially tuned Bilstein dampers. A slower steering ratio and a softer rear anti-roll bar. What is more, the Rebel S air suspension provides for an additional inch of maximum lift. The Rebel S standard ride height also is one inch higher than a non-Rebel S. Thus, with the air suspension at full stroke, the Rebel, in the immortal words,